it's a long process of gaining the trust of the coaches and gaining their respect as a player. You have to be willing to work hard. You have to be willing to be coachable. You're constantly being evaluated from the day you walk in here. I think you have to realize that when you play here. You don't come here to play for a position coach. You don't come here to play for a coordinator. I came here to play for Coach Saban and play for the University of Alabama. And I'm, I'm really glad I did. So originally I grew up in Knoxville, Tennessee. I moved to Georgia during high school. Playing for Buford was, it meant the world to me. Typical small town, Friday night football town. I think it really gave me an opportunity to get recruited. It gave me my pick of schools and I chose the University of Alabama because I thought that's what was gonna be best for me in my career and developing me on the field. I think the three guys that took me under their wing was uh, Miller Forstall, Thomas Fletcher, and Landon Dickerson. They were like older brothers to me. It was super hard coming here, especially as a freshman. Those first few workouts were tough. I was thinking, man, I don't know if I'm actually built for this or not, but uh, they kind of just told me that that's what it's like for freshmen. It's just going to be hard. It's going to be uh, you know, a kick in the butt, but uh, I'm super thankful for those guys and uh, everything they gave to me in my freshman year. I think every good football team uh, it starts up front on the offensive line. You know, I'm a huge fan of running the ball. I like getting physical. I like getting nasty. Kind of my mantra, I've always worn this hat that says run the damn ball, but uh, you know, whatever it takes to win. And you know, if it means running the ball, I think we're gonna do that very well. Uh, if it means passing the ball and giving those guys protection, I think we'll be able to do that very well too. The running the ball aspect comes from, you know, just the desire for all of us to be nasty and physical. I think that's, you know, all five guys in the starting offensive line right now, and even the young guys, you know, have that same mentality. I think my role in the room is kind of just like a coach on the field. If a guy's not understanding something quite as well, I can go to them and, you know, teach them up the way that it hits my brain. And I'm not super vocal. I'm more of a lead by example guy, I lead by, you know, just gritty, hard nosed play. Um, I'm not a big rah rah guy. I'm not a big celebrator. Um, but, you know, I think, I think that you need both styles of leadership in the room. And uh, I think I give that more, you know, low key type of leadership. This book's called, Oh, The Thinks You Can Think. You can think about red, you can think about pink. You can think up a horse, oh, The Thinks You Can Think. Service work is really important to me because we experience all the love that the state of Alabama has for us on game days, and I think it's really important that we can show that love back as players. A lot of people are going to you know, care that you're out there helping the community while you're a current player. So that's kind of where I took the emphasis. I'm really just trying to make the most out of the time I have here uh, and give back as much as I can. Uh, so the academic piece of this is so important to me because my parents instilled in me at a very young age that you know, you're know you not gonna get anywhere in life if you're not smart enough. Since I've been at the university, I've maintained a 4.0 throughout my undergrad uh, degree in finance, graduated in two and a half years. Right now I'm working on my master's in sports hospitality management. You know, my parents are everything to me. You know, I owe the world to them. They instilled in me what hard work looks like. They instilled in me what dedication looks like. And, uh, you know, I, I could never pay them back for what they've given me. I love writing music and playing guitar. You know, I think of myself as a really solid uh, campfire guitarist. I can play all the chords that you need me to. Um, it's kind of just my downtime and that's just where I go when I just want to relax and you know hang out and just be myself. Uh, playing for Coach Saban uh, has been a huge blessing to me. You know, he is the consistent stable rock in this organization. I couldn't have put any more trust in anybody else than I did with Coach Saban. When you come to the University of Alabama, I think you just have to be prepared to you know give it your all and put your best foot forward. I try to put myself in the best position possible as I can to represent this program on the field and then with the community service off the field. It says a lot of how much emphasis we put on uh, academics here and community service and uh, that's part of the reason I love this program.